Hey everybody, welcome back here to our Journeyman save. We are about to kick off the new season here in Indonesia with Persia, Jakarta. And today's match is going to be a great match to kick off the season against a rival. That is against Persebaya and we will be at home in front of a nice crowd. Looks like there should be about 25,000 fans in the stadium today. So it's going to be a great game. Before we jump into it, let's of course go over the players that have joined the club and the players that have left the club. And we'll take a quick look and see how we did in the preseason as well. So starting off with the players that have joined the club, you can see that we have quite a few new players. And we're going to start off with Slamet Budiano. Picked him up on a free transfer last season. He was with Persis Solo. And I think Budiano is going to be a good player for us. He is going to be our left-sided inside forward for us. And he looked decent enough in preseason as well. So looking forward to that. Next up, we have a center back, Rama Latif. He's decent enough. Um, nothing spectacular. He is a 31-year-old center back. But really, we needed to fill out players in this position. And I think he's a good enough backup player when that, that brings experience to the back line. So we signed him up. And next up is midfielder Hindro Siswanto, uh, 31 years old. I also picked him up on a free transfer. He was with Arima before, where he made plenty of appearances with them. Uh, I think he's a fairly good player, and I'm excited to have him join our team. Then next up is another center back. This is Arif Priyadi. Again, more of a backup player, but he has good enough attributes in the key areas for a center back. A bit concerning, he's 27 years old and has not made a professional appearance. So that is a slight concern, but again, he has good enough attributes in those areas. Uh, and then these last three players, the three that I am most excited about, starting off, with Ezri Walian. He is our new striker, 22 years old, a full Indonesian national team player. He won the League Young Player of the Season Award last year with PSM, where he had 17 goals and 26 appearances. Absolutely buzzing that we were able to pick him up. He did not renew his contract with PSM. He didn't want to sign for us at the beginning of the offseason, but we wore him down and he eventually signed with us. Super excited to have him join the club. You can also see that he has been part of Dutch football. He spent time with Atze before making a move over to the Ajax Academy. And if you can get a player from the Ajax Academy, you know he has to be pretty decent. So I am extremely happy to have Ezri join our team. Then we have two players that we actually spent money on. First one is Cesar Morello, $28,000 to pick him up from, um, it says North Texas, but he was actually contracted with FC Dallas. 24 years old American center back instantly becomes our best center back so I am excited to have him join the club and then our latest player that we signed on deadline day is Hendrik Hofgartner $33,000 from Augsburg in Germany 24 years old he is a midfielder and Again, instantly becomes one of our best midfielders. He can play both defensive midfield and center mid. So that gives us some good flexibility there with where we want to play Hendrik. 
that is all the players that have joined. Uh, we did have a few players that have left the club as well. This first player uh, was a backup player that was out on loan last year, so we're not going to go over him. But Xian Dao has officially left the club. I mentioned that he wasn't renewing his contract with us, and he ended up going back to Brazil. But last season, he was fantastic for us. 21 appearances and getting two goals along the way as well. We are certainly going to miss him. And the next player we're going to miss probably even more. Yon Tomas left. He would not sign a contract with us and has gone back to Spain where he signed a contract with Recreativo. Last season with us, he made 28 appearances and got 12 goals and he also had four assists. Goodbye, my lover. Definitely going Goodbye, to miss Tomas. Was a key player for us. Uh, we also have two players out on loan this season. Well, Roman and Ridwan. Both are midfielders and are out on loan. Uh, we did release some players as well. Uh, really the only one that had any contribution was Sandy Sute and he made 75 appearances in his three seasons at the club. He has signed with another League One team, Barak Lumpung, so I'm sure we will be facing off against him this season. But that is all we have to go over with that. So just taking a quick look at preseason, you can see that we won every single game. The closest game was a 2-1 game. But a nice preseason done there. The team is looking in decent shape. Uh, they're not really fully match fit. You would prefer these to be in the high 90s by now. But you can see they're in the low 80s. So probably not the best preseason we could have had. But a lot of that had to do with players constantly picking up slight little injuries that left them out for like three or four days. Just super annoying. And hopefully that doesn't happen throughout the season because that would be super annoying and not sure we have the best quality to be able to afford that. So we do have a couple of current injuries. Starter Dilshad Sharofutinov, the Uzbekistan midfielder, is out for... Uh, about a week or two weeks and a couple backup players Supriati, center back Latif was out and midfielder Lestaluhu is out as well but without further ado let's go ahead and get this season underway the teams are out we are underway here at the kickoff of this season and we are on the ball early Almost turned over, but we won the ball back. We play it out to the right-hand side. Can we whip in a cross here now? We do get a cross in. Ezri Walian gets a goal on his debut six minutes into the game. Great cross in by Danny Saputra to pick him out. And Ezri heads it home for our opening goal of the season. Keeper not going to save that one. Let's go. course we finished last season with a tremendous form preseason we carried on with that this opening game has started off extremely well we might get a second one here how did we not get that rebound goal good strike by Danny Saputra keeper could only parry it and Simon Juntak was not able to get the rebound goal keeper did really well to make that second save but we are looking very dangerous here. We might get another opportunity here. Oh, Siswanto had a shot from the top of the box. Didn't beat the keeper there that time, though. We are playing really good right now. We have held them to no shot so far and just 38% possession. 
Oh, great ball. Can we get that in? Oh, not able to get that on target. It was his weaker left foot. But Budiano. Hmm, would have liked to see him at least test the keeper there. But we do have a free kick now. It's whipped in. Ezri Walian with a brace in the first half. Great delivery. And a great header. Beautiful. Hey Hanusa. Our left back. Great delivery. Clearly onside. 2-0. Just a few minutes before halftime. And there is halftime. 2-0 to Persia. Brace from our debutant Ezri Awalian. Loving life right now. Let's go back out there and get the three points. Cesar Morello is looking a bit complacent, which isn't something I like to see. We'll have to keep an eye on him, but we're going to bring on Tony Sosipto for Danny Saputra. And right back. And we're going to sub off Ezri here. He doesn't just come back from international duty. Uh, we're going to bring on Marco Simic in his place. Marco missed a majority of the preseason, so you can see he's not match fit. So this will be a good run out for him. Sixty-six minutes gone. We still have the two-goal lead. We have held them to no shot so far. Still, we're looking for a third one here, and we got it. Arfandi Alzubiati with the goal. Good job by Simon Juntak to pick out Alzubiati there. He fires it in. Three-nil now. Absolutely wonderful. We'll go ahead and make our final substitution. We will bring on Haida Yacht for Hofgartner in midfield there for the remaining 20 minutes of the game. But it is looking like an opening three points for Persia. We did just score but it is ruled for offsides. Mm, very tightly offside. Just a few minutes left in the game now. Oh, come on. We let them score on their first shot of the game in the 86th minute. That is super annoying. We were so close to a clean sheet. That's very disappointing. Come on, guys. And there is the full-time whistle. We do get the three points. Very disappointing that we give up a late goal once again. It ruined our clean sheet, and that's just... Something that we have to cut out. If it was a close game, we could have dropped points. That's something we did a lot of last year. But we did get the 3-1 win thanks to the first half breeze from Ezri Walian and the second half goal from Alzubedi in the 67th minute. So I'm sure we will be near the top of the league after that opening win. Let's just get a confirmation on where we sit and the league table here in just a moment. Well, that's very disappointing. Rico Simon Juntak is going to be out for about a month and a half or two months with a thigh strain. That's really disappointing. But after that, well, only a couple teams have played, but we are currently top of the table. Not sure we will still be there after everyone has played, 
but that's okay. We got the big three points, and that's all that matters. That we started off the season with a win. I did forget to go over the season preview. Oops. We were projected to come in fourth place by the media, which shows they believe we have a strong team and can challenge for the title this year. But yes, guys, that is where we will be ending this episode today. If you have enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here. Until next time, it's been your Boyd 147.